Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and happy Spring 19. I think all my developer sandboxes and developer edition orgs are in Spring 19 now. And I want to show you quickly how to um, enter a validation or how to how to use validations in your flow input elements. So let's get started. Um, I have a very simple flow, um, nothing fancy going on here. I just have a text input type, which is a state code. And what I want to do is I use this validate input on the right side. And also just a quick note, sometimes uh, when your screen is zoomed in a little, it might be very difficult to see this. And then for some reason for me, it doesn't scroll. So I had to actually uh, zoom out a little bit and then I was able to see all this different um, parameters inside the validate input. So validate input actually, you can write formula just like you would in Salesforce formula fields or validation rules. So what I'm gonna do is length and select that state code, it's right here. And I'm gonna say equal to two. So one thing to note is that um, this validation rule will fire if, if this um, value is anything other than two, meaning um, whenever this is equal to false, this whole condition equal to false, then your validation fires. And also um, make sure, or most of the times it's, it's a good idea to make it required because, um, or if it is empty, then the validation rule won't fire. So if you want the validation rule to fire, user must have entered something there. Um, okay, so, and also as you have noticed, I haven't, I wasn't able to draw, use the logic from, use the function from a dropdown like we used to do in Salesforce, um, you know, standard fields or validation rules. So you have to actually type it. So it's a good idea to have that whole formula cheat sheet open in front of you so you can copy paste and actually save the formula without any error. And don't forget to use the error message. Um, I'm just saying enter a state code or anything that's uh, applicable to you. Um, another thing I wanna point out here is that when you're using error message, um, make sure you're in sync with your business, business um, requirements and you can also what you can do is like use a custom setting and include your error message in the custom settings um, so anytime let's say in future if your users or your business users want want to give you a new error message a new language then it's very easier for them to just go into that custom setting change the error message and they don't even have to touch the flow to make that edit so to do that, we'll, we'll probably do another video on custom settings, but just a quick note and you can use that in a formula, the custom setting. So right now we're just gonna save it, hit done. And actually I'm gonna add one more field date. I'm gonna say submission date. And um, again, validate input, but Here's what I was trying to show you is that when you just add a valid, when you just add an input field, you will not see that uh, formula on the dropdown because we just added it. We'll not see that screen component in the dropdown. So if you want to see that, click done and then save it and then we can come back to it. So I'm just gonna come back to that submission date just to make it easier to be able to pull it from there. And I think what I'm gonna enter is submission date. Now it's up here, here. Um, should be greater than today. So whatever your condition is. And I'm gonna intentionally leave an error in the formula and see what happens. Um, enter a valid date. Be sure your form error message is more descriptive than this because enter a valid date doesn't make sense to the users. So I'm just gonna save it and it will let me save it even though there is an error in the formula. I'm just gonna hit done and it, it let me save it, no issues there. But what's gonna happen is when I try to activate, there will be no activate button and I won't be able to activate it. So as you can see, I have two warnings here. Um, I'm just gonna trying to scroll it and see what the warnings are. For some reason, my screen is stuck here. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go back and see if I see that activate button or not. So 
give me a second here so um, this is my flow and you see how this part doesn't have an activate button because this is the one that we are working at and the formula has an error if I was able to open that exclamation maybe I can reduce zoom in and I'm gonna make some change here try to save it again okay now I'm able to scroll it and see submission date the formula expression is invalid field today does not exist check spelling so it is very good in terms of like it gives you what you need to do not while saving your comp uh, element but while actually saving it it tells you right there so that is very helpful so let's go back and fix that it's gonna say the braces we forgot that and hit done save it and one good idea also now we have only one warning that's basically telling me that you need a lightning runtime because it includes a screen component which is fine um, and anytime you are making any changes to a flow um, always like I think good idea is to just debug it so you're able to see what the errors are so you don't activate the flow anytime you want to test it so let's just debug it hit run and I'm gonna put a um, state code of Pennsylvania and let's see what happens all right so I'm getting this error here enter state code but the submission date didn't fire because it's empty and the validation the way validation works is like it has to have a value there for it to fire the form the validation rule so if you want your validation rule to fire make sure it's required um, so I'm gonna say February 8th hit next and there now we have the validation rule so we know that our formula is working and everything is fine and that's even wrong so 10th okay so we got rid of that validation and if we enter PA here it should be fine all right um, I think that's all for today and I just wanted to show you how to use validations um, another thing is also that there is a documentation on it on what are there are certain limitations obviously like anything else in Salesforce um, the limitations are right here I'll give you this link um, but basically you cannot use these functions on a formula in flow and it also goes how what are the best practices and how you should use it and a couple of more links and I'll link it in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any other questions regarding flows or anything in Salesforce. Um, let me know if you have any ideas that you want me to make a video on. Thank you.